the side from the Eastern Cape, but two victories since the firing of Dane Clayt. Morgan Mamila's uh, transition from an administrator to a coach seems to be going along nicely. To introduce you to the lineups uh, for today's encounter, just the one change for Kaiser Chiefs from the match against Stellamosh, and that actually happened in the game when Ituman and Kune was injured, and so Brandon Peterson and uh, of course uh, George Matlo is back from his suspension. One change for Chipper, Marman in for Tulani Mini. They've got Andile and Bignani still out with injury. Double the number of passes the Chiefs have had for Chipper, 120 already. Now Dupree, opportunity for Kaiser Chiefs, left-footed efforts. Straight at uh, Fumbedzai, plays it to the goalkeeper. He's looking for a goal, Ashley Dupree. He's, de he's desperately in need uh, just to really get that uh, is uh, Siabolele Gwambi. He's worked with several coaches uh, in his time at Chipper. Now, a mistake at the back. Can Marman uh, take the opportunity? Left-footed effort doesn't have the power to trouble Peterson. Yep, very sloppy, I thought. Just wanted to play it first touch, but it just really didn't carry the weight of the pass. And then everyone is on uh, hiatus in front of the super sport screens, watching the world's best players. Golly offside against the team. He's going to go for it anyway. We've got a little talking to here from the referee. You remember the days when they gave yellows? Remember those days very well, but uh, Caleb once again exercises his defensive abilities here, really dispossessing um, Kizer in that midfield. And characteristic of Kizer, most if you lose the ball... And... did hit the hand, I mean, he's literally 30, 40 centimetres away. It's too, too close. Delivery from Dolly and a good catch from uh, as well with Black Leopards and uh, TTM and the uh, Midbank Cup, of course, with them. Here's Sechota. Chance here, surely! Oh, where was the power from Keegan Dolly? That was a great opportunity. It was both a goal attempt number one and shot on target number one from them. Sakota really does well here, uses his pace, gets a perfect cutback using his right foot, weaker foot, but really locates Keegan Dolly, and I think here Keegan Dolly as well could have just wrapped it and given it a bit of power. Well, the ball is falling for Chipper. This is a quick counter, this is a great chance for Matruis, it's a tight angle. In the end, Blom's under a bit of pressure, but he comes away with it. Inside, Dimen Yamana. Sakota. There's the clear, and Sakota will go for goal himself. And that time. I think a great run there very nicely, but even on the other end, I think Mkhize has dictated terms really well. Here's Donny though, with a left foot, oh! Into the side netting, half the crowd think that was in the back of the net. Team hasn't scored. And now you get to understand that everyone is looking for that goal, but the great pass yet again from Dupier, who locates uh, Keegan Dolly just with that through pass, does really well to get it on his strong foot this time around, but just off target. Well, he's keen, Keegan Dolly, who's left on the bench. And came on and scored and very pointedly uh, pointed to his name on his jersey. He has a great chance for the truly Kambindu. And it's going to be a goal kick. Well, he feels it should be a corner. And maybe Latuli should have uh, had the first opportunity. Was it the first touch that let him down? Got stuck a little bit between his feet, but... Maybe Frosler's presence too. That certainly looks a corner though. I thought uh, that was a corner as well, but this is the kind of... Sakota with the cross, Peterson with the last touch. Kaiser Chiefs get another corner. Item for Kaiser Chiefs. They have tall figures like Caleb Clanty as well to compete for those corners.
Chance shot. Oh, it's a goal. It's Kazana. He's repaid. Offers one his faith in keeping him in the starting lineup. And that is a huge goal for uh, Kaiser Chiefs. And just as you said, at a crucial juncture in the game. Critical phase of the game. Too many corners that uh, Chip have been conceding. First league goal for Ngazana since uh, November. Top might be lined up for an entree in the second half. 2019 when they won 4-0 against Stellenbosch, but that is a super header from a set piece. Hit with power and precision. Power and precision for Jato Zwane Reed. Imenimana, this might be a chance for his shot, oh, it's on target, and it forces an excellent save from the goalkeeper, Kazapu. Yeah, this is what you really want to see from a Caleb who hasn't really seen much of the ball possession because he's been stagnant. Once he starts moving, great turn just to minus that one position, and then he goes for target. Great power, but equally a great save from the goalkeeper, Kazapu. Oh, that looked... Uh... Certainly well on target at it, but Matuti who clears it away, so I must apologize to him and take that back. Chance here for Bima Yamana. He got ahead of Roscoe Peterson. Caleb really does well about to make sure that he always gives himself so much more space, puts himself in front of the defender so that he can control the ball a lot better. This kick as well. Yeah. Hungry for goals. Has to go ahead of Shalolile in the goal scoring stakes. Oh, he has a big error at Quebec with Edmondson and Peterson, and they get away with it, Kaiser Chiefs. Impressed with this? Yeah, not impressed at all. And I think had Peterson gotten a full whack at that one, it probably would have ricocheted back into the net. But here again... Or broken his ankle. Or broken his <laughs> ankle, but once again, Kaiser Chiefs just really not decisive, really not taking command. Ball inside here. Lutule, this is Shori, and Ikaza, and offside. Igadaru, he hasn't uh, seen the flag yet. Oh, my word. Not offside. Not offside. Such a big, big, big call. Not offside at all. Well, I think that would be quite an easy one for him. Now, square ball. And the charge here for Latuni that is struck with a left foot. And it is a cracking effort. Lovely shot. He picked up the loose ball. And Latuni has the equalizer. And that's the reaction from Morgan. That ball just ricocheting off of him. And Latuni picks up the second ball. Great power to put Chipper on, on goals. And it's always good to see a left-footed finish. No chance for Peterson. A pinball there uh, amongst the defence. And there's the reaction from uh, Chipper United. Latuli, by the way, his... Uh, goes into that midfield, allows him to go front. No, Dupree. Dupree, left foot. Oh, he's just looking to lay it on for Dolly. Cleared away. Yeah, I think both changes. I mean, Igadaru as well, in, just in terms of his size. This is one of the perfect examples, Mark, that we've been chatting about. Uh, just to clear, really, just taking. Again, with uh, Steve Barker at uh, on the Tux. See, the presence of Igadaru there is, is, is a menace for the defence. In front, he's got his eye on the big striker. It's a lovely left foot finish. The keeper to take charge of his area. Here's Latuli. Coming in late! Oh, that was a good strong header. Was that in Kize? No. It... That's a powerful uh, random jump, maybe not the accuracy. 